we're back, Learn Team! Now this video is about factoring the sum or difference of two cubes. We have three parts in this video. The revisit, understand, and practice. Let us revisit a very important topic that will help us understand the sum or difference of two cubes. Are you familiar with these polynomials? Do you remember these polynomials? Alright, now, what are the products of these two sets of polynomials? Now let us multiply them. Our first sets of multiplicands are x plus y and x squared minus xy plus y squared. Now simply distribute x to x squared to negative xy to y squared. And then y to x squared to negative xy, then to y squared. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times a negative xy is negative x squared y. And x times y squared is xy squared. Now let's continue. y times x squared is x squared y y times negative xy is negative xy squared. And lastly, y times y squared is y cubed. Now, we can add additive inverses, negative x squared y and x squared y. That will be 0. And then xy squared and negative xy squared, that will be 0. And that leaves us with x cubed plus y. There you have it. Okay, let's go to the right. We have x minus y and x squared plus xy plus y squared. Now, same thing. We distribute x to x squared to xy to y squared. And then we distribute negative y to x squared to xy and then to y squared. And then we have x cubed plus x squared y plus xy squared minus x squared y minus xy squared minus y cubed. Again, with the additive inverses, we are left with, ta-da, it's x cubed minus y cubed. Way to go, guys! Now, what did we do to our set of factors? That is right. We distribute each term of our binomial to each term of our trinomial. Good job! Now, keep in mind what we have revisited. We have two cases here. This will be our case 1 and this is our case 2. Now, I want you to take your observations of these patterns of the factors and the operations in each case. Let's go to case 1. The polynomial in the form x cubed plus y cubed is called, ta-da, the sum of two cubes. We made mention of that in the revisit. Why? Because two cubic terms are being added together. Now, let's factor out our binomial. Earlier, I said that there is or there are patterns to the factors of the sum of two cubes. Now, you might wonder how we come up with this pattern. No problem. Again, you can check out our revisit section for that. Now, let's go back. We have here a binomial and a trinomial. Now, our binomial contains the cube root of the first term and the cube root of the second term of our given. And then, our trinomial contains the square of the first term in our binomial, uh, the product of the first and the second term, and then the square of the last term. Now, take a look at the operations. Here, we have addition, which is the same in our given, subtraction, which is opposite of our given, and this one here is always addition. Now, let's go to our case number two. In our case number two, in case number one, 
have the same terms okay do you notice that but the difference is the signs we have here this is a subtraction which is the same as the given addition which is opposite as the given and then take a look at this this is addition and this is addition right here which means that they are always the same okay now here I want you to take a look at the patterns do you now notice the patterns okay that is right we have two patterns here we have our terms are the same and then the pattern for our operations will be that is right it will be same opposite and always positive again the pattern is so that is right now let's go practice again always remember same opposite and always positive that is our tada so go to practice number one a cube plus 27 you want to express that as the cubes of 2a and 3 and then we are going to get the cube root of our first term and the cube root of our second term. That will be our binomial. And the sign is, that is right, it will be the same as our given. They have the same signs. Our trinomial will be the square of our first term. Okay, the products of our first and second term. And then the square of our last term. And the signs are opposite and always positive okay practice number two please pause the video all right let's see okay we expressed it as the cubes of a and four and then we get the cube root of the first term and the cube root of the second term the signs are the same in our trinomial, we square the first term. The sign will be opposite. We multiply the first and the second term. And the sign will always be positive. And then we square our last term. Good job! What about the third example or the third practice? Please pause the video. Okay, time to check. Good job. Let's go to the last practice. You're perfect, guys. Again, remember, oops, not that kind of soap, but this kind of soap. Same, opposite, always positive. 